Hey guys. Happy full moon, Aquarius. Um, we're back here. We went live earlier. It was really, really fun. Um, walking through nature and just sort of doing the thornberry there. Um, I wanted to jump on with a pick a card reading. Um, just a sort of advice here. Um, anything that comes through that might be a message for you at this time. We will be pulling from the children's spirit animal deck uh, and most likely gummy bear tarot deck, wild unknown, and the questions deck. Let me just forward this so that we know we're live. And um, just share this on Twitter. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in here to you. Start um, getting the decks here. The stacks, rather. <laughs> the stacks set up. <laughs> and um, let's see, hopefully you can actually see the stacks. Okay. Even though this table is so big, it's like kind of hard to uh, get the view with the camera. But oh well. All right. Let's um, pull the first stack. That was. <laughs> Pretty, pretty fast there in terms of the uh, mere interruption. I'm not sure. Second stack. All right. We'll pull them all already. Three. Stack four. Hope you guys are all doing well, enjoying the full moon in Aquarius. It was a little earlier here on this end. So earlier in the day. Whoa, that's the fifth stock. Yep, on the floor. <laughs> Let's get them. <laughs> Let's get them on the floor. <laughs> Onto the table. Okay, we've got a lot of <laughs> explosive volcanic fifth stack there. All right, we'll set the rest of the children's spirit to the side and we may pull from that. Let's pull as well from the um, conversationalist deck. First stack, second stack, third stack, fourth stack, fifth stack. We may pull further from that. Oops, there's a card that wants to land on the third stack there, further card. We'll also pull from the Wild Unknown. Wow, I haven't touched this deck in a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Really thick stock on the first stack of the Wild Unknown. I'm hearing your mother, your children. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing take care of your mother, your children. That could be a particular message on the first stack. And uh, there we are at the fifth stack. Um, where's the gummy bear tarot? Ah! Oh, it's just back here hiding. First stack, second stack. third, fourth, and the fifth. Okay, <sighs> two more actually on that fifth stack. Okay, so um, let's get into it, you guys. Um, I'll show you sort of, hopefully, more easily what we're working with here. Um, I got to be a five stacks and uh, let's use an object for each stack. I'll place the mouse on the fourth stack, the fifth stack actually, but take it as well, we mentioned fourth. A pencil on the fourth. A little hair tie, a little scrunchie on the third stack. Yesterday's to-do list <laughs> on the second stack. We almost put it on the third as well. And we'll place a keyboard on the first stack. Okay. <gasps> Abstract items, but take it as you will. We've got a keyboard on the first stack. We've got, and we've already pulled the cards here so far. I'm also seeing a moon here for the second stack in, a, in yesterday's to-do list. I've got a pink little scrunchie on that third stack, a pencil 
on the 4th, and I've got a mouse on the 5th. You guys, let's get into it. Feel free to choose your stack. Meditate. Meditate, clear the energy and ground. Um, and if it does help you, I'll pull one question for each stack as well. And I'll read it off to you for each of the stacks, again, if it's helpful. First stack. The question is, what have you learned from two people you've gone out with? This is coming through technically in reverse, but it's coming through, take it as you will. I'm hearing Taurus here as well, specifically. That's on the first stack. Second stack, this might just sort of, I'm hearing Sage. Uh, this may help you sort of, you know, pick a stack in terms of a certain, maybe even theme. So, at what age do you feel someone stops being attractive to you? <laughs> okay, second stack. <laughs> I'm hearing Taurus again. Okay, wow. Second, the third stack, two cards. Describe a piece of art that you really like and why. What work were you doing the last time you forgot time altogether? And the fourth stack question, two cards also want to come out. Describe an early sexual experience. And when was the last time you experienced Schadenfreude? Do you dare to admit what triggered it? Fifth stack. Two stacks, is two cards as well. What kind of things do you consider bad taste and why? And how are your political opinions changing? I'm also hearing Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces there on that last stack. Let's get into it. <laughs> you guys, thank you for tuning in. Advice here on this time. What, what, what? I'm going to set these, these stacks with all their cards to the side. And sort of we'll come back to those here. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Happy full moon. Third stack. Second. And the first. Okay. Here we are, the first stack. Let's clear the energy and ground. All right. I feel like so far right here. Oh, thank you, who's this? For your donation. I don't quite see it. It's on the iPad. It's kind of far away, but thank you for your donation. What have you learned from the two people you've gone out with? Um, let's also get timestamps here. So we're looking at 7-Eleven, first stack. Um, right off the bat with the first stack here, if you chose the stack, I feel like you've got, first of all, a lot going on. Uh, I feel like there are things that are like really kind of, um, well, I'm seeing it as like almost volatile. It's like, you've got a lot of one thing and then you got really little of one thing. I'm just hearing that. Take it as you will. Um, there is maybe something when it comes to your habits, when it comes to what you're practicing on a daily basis. Um, there's something maybe, you know, that, that, that you're excited about, but then maybe you feel nervous about. It could be one thing, but you feel differently about it at different times. I'm seeing that there's something that you're really passionate about as well here, but it's a matter of how you approach it. So let's get the cards, the strength card coming through. Okay. So this is again, what's the advice here? We've got the strength card coming through on its own, almost like as a separate card horizontally laid. It really wants to sit aside from these other cards is what I'm feeling. Five of cups in reverse. The lovers in reverse. This is Gemini, third house energies. And the strength card here is Leo. This is really strong solar energies. And we talked about this actually earlier in the live. We are right here at the sun at 29 degrees of Leo. Um, now what I'm getting here is some of you, well, okay, before we get into it, let's pull up the cards. Chorus words in reverse. The sun upright, wow, a lot of, lot of Leo energy. Some of you really sensitive. The full here upright. Some of you have um, something with your schedule. Um, yeah, I'm getting a heavy energy as well, but let's continue. Six of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like organization here is gonna be like absolutely key. Um, yeah, even if you're feeling a lot of passion, I feel like it's gonna come down to organization because you can have a million really beautiful, <laughs> I'm hearing ideas, okay? But it's a matter of how you plant those seeds. Um, you know, really where you place the seed that will determine how it is that, that those plants sort of, I'm hearing ultimately expire. Interesting. Okay. Well, and I'm, yeah. And it's also a matter of how you, how you take after the seed and, and over time. So let's say you plant a seed, right? Um, yeah. It's like, are you following its growth or are you just sort of planting seed and you're like, all right, well, I'll come back to it. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'm taking it as you well. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. We're literally talking about planting seeds here. I see. Okay. If you pick this stuff, you've got a lot on your table. Like literally you have a lot of ideas. You're possibly really a creative person. Definitely with the strength card in the sun. You have the fool as well. You've got one, two, three major kind of four actually. 
You're definitely going through a period here is what I'm hearing as well. I'm hearing the letter F here. I feel like you're someone who's really funny. You got, you got a lot, you got a lot to you maybe. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you feel like, ah, I feel a lot of pressure though because I do feel this potential, but then it's like, how do I manifest with that? I feel again, yeah, but for some of you with the strength card, what I'm also getting is that, well, some of you are really humorous. Like you, or maybe that's something important to you. Like you need to feel lighthearted and like you're having fun. Um, I'm hearing like accents here. Oh, thank you for your donation, Robert. Thank you, Robert Jones, for your donation. Was that you earlier? <laughs> thank you guys. Describe a memory or of a taste or smell and what it evokes for you. I feel like some of you feel maybe a little bit scattered here, a little lost. It's like, how do I get back to me kind of vibe? Um, the monkey upright, try something new. I actually see this as you going back to something that you've known, that you've even grown up with. Something that you have really a relationship with already that that, that is solid. I'm hearing that. Some of you maybe have a lot, yeah, a little scattered energy is what I'm getting. Like, you got a lot of ideas. And they may be very exciting, but they kind of are up here, right? So it's almost like, how do we take that and, and re-manifest it and ground it? Um, there's another card, the fox. Do you seek your favors for others? Some of you maybe are grappling with the concept of possibly your identity in a public way. Some of you grappling with the concept of your audience. You know, you might be someone who has a lot of talents, actually, with the strength card in the sun. But it's like really a matter of... Where do I take this? Um, let's get a few more cards. Yeah, I see a scattered energy again with that five of wands. And we may all absolutely feel these energies. Advice here. Advice here for the first stack. Advice here. Yeah, I got the emperor on the strength card. Some of you really are like maybe in a funk where you're like, I feel like I'm really focused on what other people are feeling about what I'm doing or I'm really focused on, you know, I feel like you're stretched really thin, eight of cups upright. So you're definitely going through a cycle here. There's a lot... The sun on the sun in two separate decks. Whoa. Some of you are really feeling actually maybe even a little exhausted. Um, it might be, though, simultaneously, like, exciting, really good. Maybe you've got a lot getting off the ground. But there's also a lot coming up, period. And, um, yeah, the, this is like a, I see it as a, yeah, a volatile energy, five of cups. It's like, how do we go from the sun, sun to the five of cups in the death part? Some of you have maybe mood swings at times. It's like it gets really, like, exciting, but then it gets really, like, kind of tiring. And, um, yeah, yeah, let's clear it. You have to make a schedule is what I'm hearing. Otherwise, it's going to feel like it's all over the place. Hello, lady. Thank you for your tune. Lady, I don't see your full username. Lady something there. <laughs> Thank you for your uh, tuning in. Knight of Cups in reverse, the Six of Cups upright. Yeah, I feel like you guys are really, really overwhelmed. I just keep hearing this. Maybe you're craving something just like tactile, sentimental even. Um, I see a lot of like public exposure energy here with the strength card and the emperor and even really masculine extroverted energy. That doesn't always serve us though, right? Maybe at a certain point in time, it does. Just like different vitamins, right? They say vitamin C is good. Too much of it? Yeah, not not so good. <laughs> it's about the balance point. Nine of cups. Yeah, I feel like you possibly, if you chose a stag, and you're you're really acting in the Jupiter energy here. You have a lot of. It doesn't mean don't think of new ideas. It's just maybe you know you're thinking more. What is going to actually apply to me at this point in time? And maybe you realize that you're like it is about the steps I take. It is about yeah because you do have quite an idea. Maybe one, two, several that you really want to actually manifest with. But it's like, some of you might really, a, a break may serve you. I'm hearing that with the lovers in reverse. Yeah, some of you also really tired of something trivial here that's going on. It's, I just see exhaustion though, the nine of cups. So for how many of you have you chose this stack specifically and you find you're resonating with these messages? Uh, feel free to type hula hoop. <laughs> hula hoop. Okay, let's get um, a few more advice cards. Pull on that sun. Well, that was real obvious. The nine of swords. Hulu. And the eight of swords. Wow. You guys have a very strong mind. You're two in the mind, though, at times I'm getting this. And again, this is meant to serve you. It's not meant to be like, ah, it's this can serve you. This can serve you. But it can also, and we talked about this in the live earlier, you know, it's about balance and context. If we're too focused on also what may be good about a certain situation, like some of you might be in a relationship and you're just getting freaked out because it's going really well, for example. This is for some, <laughs> possibly. It's like, no, I'm really excited, but then I'm getting like kind of like paranoid or worried. Like, what if I can't keep up, keep up with it? What, what if, what if, you know, what if, what if world? What if world? <laughs> what if the world ends? Like, maybe you're kind of even paranoid at times. Let's pull further on that strength card. What's going on with the strength card there? 
<sighs> yeah, you guys need to chill. Take a chill pill, maybe a little break here with the, with the daughter of Pentacles, right? The little, it's the little pleasures I'm seeing that. The Sun of Cups in reverse. Yeah, if you're famous, like, I see you need to just step back. Like, and those who have a lot of Leo on their chart, yeah, this is just, like, maybe realize, like, oh, no, no, I need to introvert a little bit here. This is, yeah. Doesn't mean that you don't love, let's say, the spotlight at times, but you do. I'm seeing the number three here, the star in reverse. Some of you maybe want to actually reconnect with someone very particular here, very specific, or an activity that just lets your, like, mind loose, like... Maybe you want to kind of go to an animal shelter. This is for some very, very specific message, maybe, or, you know, and you want to just kind of like, you know, s see what's out there. I'm hearing that pet, pet the bunnies. I'm hearing that pet the bunnies in the prairie. Take it as you will. Ace of Wands in reverse and the star in reverse. Like, you want to just kind of let the mind go from what you've been really involved in. Some of you have a really, whoa, I hear a dragonfly, like, buzzing. Um, maybe you want to just be in nature more as well. But with the strength of the emperor, like, you may be someone who has a really rigid job okay and it's just it's just actually not really natural at times this is for some but the strength card doesn't mean you're not successful at it you can be really freaking successful but like you need to take time off at times is what i'm hearing so what other messages may be let's pull further on that nine of pentacles in reverse what's going on with that okay some of you are you getting freaked out this is for some You've already created maybe something really big. You're maybe at a certain point even with your career. I'm hearing I'm having trouble remaining level-headed. It's like that moment when, like, everything is so clear that it starts to become kind of confusing. Like, you know when you repeat a word so many times? Like, you know how people say, I don't really, I don't really re recognize the word anymore. Like, it doesn't sound like the word. Yeah, there's something here going on. I'm seeing that when it comes to recognizing also your values. That might be a good check-in point to say, let me step back and kind of reconsider why and not so much what and continuing it, right? There's something of a cyclical energy here with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse that is derailing you from what you're feeling maybe emotionally, okay, in terms of your passion even. So you have actually, a, yeah, something really that you don't want to, yeah, I see you don't want to take advantage even of yourself at a certain point. And what I, this is reminding me of what I like to tell people, like, hey, you know, if you know, it's like, if you're work, you're, okay, you're, let's say you're an entrepreneur, okay? <laughs> if you were to hire someone in your position, usually entrepreneurs, they'll wear all, all hats, okay? But if you're an entrepreneur and you're literally overworking yourself and you're doing just like kooky amounts of work and like in kooky ways where you're not giving yourself time to like really truly recuperate, think, would I do that to someone that I would hire? You really have to look at yourself as, you know, someone that, someone that you would want to, to be with. Uh, I'm hearing that as well. So take it as you will, if this is a relationship. Let's get further insights. The devil in reverse. Some of you workaholics. <laughs> okay, definitely no question about that. Devil in reverse. Some of you are like, you got the adrenaline. It's like, yeah, I'm the mouse. Yeah, the wheel knows me like real well. Like we, we work out every day together. Maybe it's a, it's a certain habit routine. Like I do feel like it's gonna, it's gonna, I don't want to say it'll get the best of you, but like it's definitely gonna just keep getting, getting further along the wheel. And where does that go? It's like, in a circle right so yeah some of you are gonna have to just kind of step out of that especially if you find that you're already facing a creative rut it's like i'm not feeling creative if you're feeling stagnant here with the strength card and the devil that's a clue that doing the same thing over and over may not be the answer entirely but always take it as well the magician in reverse there might be a sentimental side to this some of you are famous i'm hearing this i am hearing this and it's like you got a lot of friends you know you're in the limelight it's something repetitive it's almost like i don't want to like say no like fomo kind of vibe fear of missing out like no 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 there's no such thing well that's clear on the left side of the crown chakra let's 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 clear it and ground now some of you have an addiction though to shopping i'm hearing that with the strength guard and the devil but you know it's not gonna it's not it's not gonna be the thing that really brings you okay like the true, the true, honest sense of satisfaction and pacification. Some of you, you've got like this high energy going on with the, with the strength card and the devil. It's like a hyped up energy, like it's to say adrenaline, like, okay, like that, that yeah, it, it, it's like you could be excited, but you're not feeling satisfied possibly, possibly. So how many of you are resonating with this concept so far? I'm going to check, check into the chat. Um, can you just so it's easier? Cause it's like, I'm looking so far. I'm hearing Walmart. I'm hearing that. Okay. Yeah. So for some of you, this could be with food. So maybe it's just something like even like social media. It's like, yeah, it's, I see a dirty energy. Even I see a lot of Gemini, a lot of Leo. I'm hearing Fr Frankie J. I'm hearing that. 
maybe it's a, even the type of music, it could be anything, you could have an, you know, and it depends on anything, even music, it's like I keep listening to that song, I'm hearing 27, 27 times a day, I mean, to be specific, there could be an obsessive energy, here I am with the strength, throwing the devil, <laughs> and this is God, it's like, I'm even imagining someone who's like, really into something, or they see something's working, and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it, you know, um, but you have to be fair to yourself, is what I'm hearing, so, maybe it is in a relationship, maybe something is getting exhausted, yeah, I see like a, a wheel, like, burning, burning to the tire, um, now, if this is resonating with you on a scale of 1 to 14, can you type, 14 being really, like, resonating, um, something that you're working with, you've been actively working with, and, uh, how, for how many of you is this something that has come up now, can you write 14A, like, let's say, on this day, around the full moon, you're feeling this really strongly within these few days of the full moon, for how many of you, this is something you've been working with, can you type, 14C. Some of you want to get back to something, back to the basics. I see you like just wanting to like touch flowers even. Yeah, mother of cups, emperor. Some of you may actually meet someone here like Maybe it's the type of thing. I'm seeing someone who's like, I know that's where I'm meant to be. Like, I know I'm, I'm meant to, like, you know, it's like, let's clear it. Yeah, you're like, I know that I'm going to, like, find the love of my life in the sidelines. Interesting. And and not out here looking for her. Interesting. Like, some of you are really, wow, no, wait, hold on. Some of you are really missing someone, someone specific or something. So then what's going on? Some of you either got something going on with your work. Well, this is going to come up. Yeah, it's going to be like this until we make a change. Yeah, some of you may actually need an intervention. It's like your friends may have to, like, stop you from working. Um, 14C, interesting, okay. I thought that said revolving, resolving. Um, 14C and resolving, interesting, yeah. Well, and so may, it may be the kind of thing where, you know, you, may, you feel like, listen, you keep seeing the revolving door. Okay, I can get out of it now. <laughs> shoot miss the door i could get out of it now maybe so you're just too exhausted it's like that moment you know maybe you're meeting people you want to maybe go out on a date or whatever it is but you don't even have energy it's like i don't have energy to give my, myself to you well what's that about we got to get out of that because otherwise we're going to be just kind of i don't say wasting away but we're it's like you know what i mean <laughs> if you have an amazing seed but like you're either got too much soil and not enough water or too much water and not enough soil and it is like floating around it cannot take root and this could be you with you know maybe your ideas multiple ideas or with, with with someone here who you want to manifest something with and i keep seeing this high priestess the mother of cups let's pull further on the high priestess what's going on there some of you could be dealing with someone who who has this going on ah whoa so there's a lot of passion here um the high priestess again in both decks. Okay, so you definitely dealing with Pisces, or I'm hearing a Scorpio actually as well with the high priestess. You have the Queen of Wands upright, Queen of Cups in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of you may feel like you're about to lose an opportunity with someone. Um, for some of you, this is something that you feel you're a little out of balance with. You see the Queen of Wands upright. Some of you know it blatantly. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not tapping into my storyline here when it comes to what I'm needing emotionally. And satisfying it and calling it out for myself. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing psychically even. Ah, so some of yeah, I see a, a wheel burning out here. Um, I'm seeing like a car on a highway, like you know, all four wheels. But there's one wheel specifically that's like wearing down, and and it's yeah. Some of you, some of you also have a huge opportunity here with someone possibly, but. Yeah, like, we're talking real soulmate attraction, like, huge, huge with the Six of Cups and the Queen, Queen of Wands, like, you can really walk into destiny here with this person, but it really is a matter of showing up in all, ooh, Knight of Swords in reverse, okay, so, mm, it's like, I really see someone's, like, I don't have energy to even, like, talk on the phone, I don't have time, I don't have, it's like Chariot, so, maybe some of you want to turn this around last minute, you realize there's a huge opportunity, you don't want to let this go. This is someone, yeah, well, some of you feel lost. It's like possibly, or this could be cross watcher energy. This is maybe someone in your midst, like, you know, maybe you're aware that they're like putting something off here. It's like, well, yeah, they're just kind of, wa I see a wandering energy a little bit. Queen of, King of Wands in reverse. We're still on the first stack, by the way. Uh, Four of Pentacles, let's clear the energy and ground. I see somebody with an umbrella. 
it's like maybe it's metaphorical strength again with the five of pentacles so maybe someone is afraid they got a little path um what's the word it's like when you are kind of um you got performance anxiety it's like they don't they're, it's like they got an amazing engine they're just afraid to start it you know maybe they yeah let's clear it it's like yeah no it's going in circles a little bit when it comes to something else i see maybe there's a routine here someone's keeping up like this could be someone who has a lot of saturn a lot of fire energy maybe saturn yeah really strong saturn contacts to fire element in the birth chart um and it's like they're literally like baby stuck in the mud kind of vibe it's like i see someone trying to get their wheel out but again it could be existentially so we got yeah ace of pentacles knight of pentacles well this might be the kind of thing where the opportunity yeah someone's gonna take this opportunity on there's no question about that let's clear it. you got the high priestess high priestess you got the six of cups for some of you, you're dealing with someone, this is for some, you're dealing with someone who's really desirable, and if you're not acting on it, like, maybe this is what you're feeling, you're like, and it could just be a perspective, right? Um, you feel like it will, it, it will pass. For some of you, this is you uh, realizing that <laughs> someone is not taking the opportunity on Ace of Swords in reverse. Well, some of you are shy, and I'm hearing, well, that's too bad, <laughs> you know? Like, this is going to be an opportunity that is absolutely dismissed and wasted. I'm hearing roll of tape i'm hearing that page of pentacles of right someone is going in circles backstage they're in the powder room for like ever they're yeah six of pentacles you guys on the page of pants like you guys yeah let's go let's clear in the sacral chakra i feel like a balloon in the sacral chakra um ace of swords in reverse let's clear the energy and ground love and light to everyone here there's too much um also i for some i'm hearing machismo and so we get out of that we're not gonna be able to balance here with the feminine and we're gonna we're not gonna even really see this opportunity for what it is until we see it like in another spectrum in another time and place in from another vantage point like oh shit i see what could have been mine like i'm hearing suede shoes ace of pentacles are bright and the ace of cups with the ace of swords in the center um the ace of the you know pence and cups are both upright the ace of swords is in reverse it's like the it's not a matter of like what's what it's a matter of what we acknowledge we can have someone who is our perfect type right in front of us if we are not opening our eyes we will not see them so it's a matter of being honest i feel as well with how ready we are for this new beginning some of you really are stuck in a cycle i'm just hearing it like that devil in the strength card let's clear it but it is passion this is not not passion it is also passion but i feel like it's a question of when am i ready to step into the next phase of my story my life let's get into the second stack thank you guys for tuning in uh you know what well yeah yeah second stack thank you guys for tuning in stack one love and light to you i hope you have a wonderful full moon thank you for tuning in here and uh, if this does resonate feel free to hit the like button i'm looking at the likes here i see 40 likes and thank you guys for your support here we're on the channel it's so lovely to connect with you guys um, here when we do do these lives and um, as a side note we will be going live most likely tonight on members um, we'll be finishing up the 48 hours and I think I'm going to start that uh, hourly uh, tonight as well so we'll start talking about those transits here in real time and uh, making those videos for real time um, uh, alerts thank you guys again here for tuning in for your comments I'm not seeing the comment feed here so just a side note um hopefully it's all good <laughs> all right let's get into the second stack advice here for you your second stack let's clear the energy and ground i'm going to collect the cards again actually in the first stack and it was the second stack here that we had the to-do list right let's clear the energy and ground Wow, I feel a lot of love here. A lot of love, a lot of emotion, a lot of love and emotion here coming through already with the second stack. Um, I also feel something a little ner nervous, nervous tension here a little bit with the second stack as well. Let's just get that last card here. And all right, we're on our way second stack thank you for tuning in wow 111 people in the room right there um 29 11 is the timestamp on the second stack thank you guys for connecting at what age do you feel someone stops being attractive to you yeah i'm getting like something immediate here 
In terms of attraction, actually, like, I feel someone is really actually attracted to someone, but they're a little nervous. It's like, I'm hearing, uh-oh, what are we going to do? I see something related to timing, schedule, timelines, like, actual time. Maybe, like, am I going to have enough time? Like, am I going to da-da-da? And it can be in a macro space. Maybe you're dating someone, and it's like you want to take it to the next level. You're like, do I have enough time to do this, like, in my life, actually? <laughs> do you going to do well? Some of you, yeah, villain, yeah, judgment. You know how you feel about something here? I feel, but let's get the cards. The two of wands... Someone here is really interested in someone. I'm seeing this. Take it as you will. Um, but there is a cycle that is maybe like freaking them out in relation to what they know, in relation to what they feel, temperance and growth. Somebody is like, this is literally like, <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> okay, like this is some of, for some of you, passion that is almost like unbearable. Some of you are waiting on something possibly. Let's get further cards. Uh, is there anything you regret not doing due to fear? Maybe you feel like you had an opportunity in the past and you're like, am I going to miss it this time? Maybe, you know, it's something of a pattern. What do you find most interesting about being with other people? I see someone is like really having a hard time being patient with something. Let's get the children's spirit cards. Lion, ask for what you want in reverse. Wolf in reverse, you're safe and protected in reverse. Whoa, okay. I'm here. Let's be brave. Dear, be kind to yourself and others are bright. Yeah, I see someone's impatient here. Dolphin, cooperate with others are bright. Um, some of you definitely are waiting on something. How many of you are waiting on something? Oh, let me just get some water, actually. I'm so thirsty right now. I'm hearing the time is coming, the time is nearing. What are we what are we waiting for? What are we talking about? Let's get a card here on is there anything you regret not doing due to fear? Ten of swords of right. <laughs> yeah, fear, fear itself. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, I didn't address fear because of fear. Let's clear it. <laughs> Some of you maybe know what yeah, the two of swords of right. So some of you maybe like dismiss an opportunity in the past, you're really kinda like Damn, like, is it too late? Did I miss out? Like, some of you may be in love with somebody here. You got the hermit coming to your Virgo. Some of you in love with somebody. And it's like, I see frenetic energy. Like, I want to talk to them. I'm hearing that. I see, like, a pie. Someone's baking a pie. Let's get for the clues. Yeah, some of you really attracted to somebody. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you also maybe workaholic. I see for some of you, maybe you have a crush on someone and, like, you saw them and it's like, I'm seeing a body of water here. It's like, a river even like a lake or something you're like you have the opportunity to like, go up to them and talk to them and like i don't know like maybe you just dismissed it it's like some of you just kind of acted maybe you played it off like kind of like hard to get like ah, i'm hearing flowers or dandelions it's like you made maybe small talk it's like i lost the opportunity damn like i act like m you know mr g whiz i'm hearing that as well like when i wanted to be kind of more flirty maybe the sun in reverse yeah some of you maybe feel like a so one is the right pock. Okay, you really made me feel like I had the perfect, most perfect, most perfect of opportunities. And like I literally didn't do it. I'm hearing that. A so one is upright. I'm seeing someone fanning themselves with like, um, I'm hearing Bianc Noir. This came through in another video. Uh, I'm hearing Bianc Noir. It's, um, I'm seeing like something, it's almost like a newspaper even. Take it as you will. Yeah, this is something. Oh boy. No, no. This is like, yeah. Okay, well, let's clear it. This could have been, mm, okay. Someone doesn't know what, okay, five of wands again, seven of cups. It's like, what happened? Maybe they're, maybe you're actually confused. It's like, you went on a date, you're like, I don't know, really. I don't really know what, what happened back there. Was it good? Like, what happened? I'm hearing that again. So how many of you, is this resonating on a scale of one to 15? 15 being like, seriously. I needed a way sharper razor and I use like a butter knife. I'm hearing that <laughs> to shave my legs. <laughs> At that point, yeah, you might as well use butter. <laughs> Try to <laughs> erode the hairs off <laughs> with the butter. Okay, I don't know. Forget the knife at that point. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm hearing LOL. Somebody like walks into a room, it's like silent. They're like, is she even still there? It's like, I don't know. 
I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying like butter knives here with the, with the five of wands. Like something is just, you feel like we, it's like that moment you go on the date. You're like, nah, no, nah, I don't know. Was I Shrek even? Was I even Shrek? Or like, was I just like the dandelion flower that was on the road on the way? It's like, am I all right? I'm hearing that. <laughs> am I all right? No, I'm not. I, I'm hearing, I need her. I'm hearing that devil and the king of wands. Like someone is in love with someone. All right. Dolphin. Oh, I'm hearing that song. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans. Da -da -da -da. I sing it so Disney, don't I? Da -da 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 yeah, like someone even. Aww. Hi, priest. You guys, someone maybe saw someone somewhere. They're like. Fiona. I'm hearing that. Fiona, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing da 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 I'm hearing Lisa. da 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 ba da ba ba I see someone putting a backpack on. I'm hearing letter R, Ray. Ray, Ray. Someone's getting someone's number. Let's clear. They're like, damn. No, I missed it. I missed it. I thought I missed it. I'm hearing, I missed the exit. I'm hearing that as well. Six of Pentacles in reverse, you guys. Someone's looking back on the past. They're like, oh. Was I thinking? What did I have in my hand? It was a muffin. I don't understand why I literally passed up the opportunity to talk to her because I said, No, I'm too busy. I'm like gonna be baking muffins tonight. I'm hearing that. With my brother, my brother in law, and her dad. Like, sounds like I literally could No. <laughs> you guys, let's clear it. Somebody here is really into fashion. I'm hearing that. Yeah, two a ka this might even be someone you actually, it's reminding me a little bit of the Virgo reading where someone like gave someone their number and like some shit went hail haywire and like they literally like, they, something happened. It was lost in translation even. But then you saw that person again, but then for, you know that moment when you're like, I don't know why I didn't like run back and like give him my, my real name. I'm hearing that, my real number. I'm hearing that. It's like. Yeah, and then you actually miss the opportunity fully, but it's that you were in hesitation mode, kind of, maybe? It's like, yeah, like, I'm seeing a frozen energy, like, oh, wait, <laughs> wait, like, you, yeah, let's clear it, I'm seeing a grapefruit, let's just clear it, love and light, no, no, no. someone turns, around. they're like, what am I thinking? No, 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 I don't know, even, I am not really on. Even the influence, I don't I don't have a reason for acting like this. Let's clear if things are all right. Hmm. What's going on here? Okay, for some of you, like actually, you saw someone here, you felt like there was great chemistry, and then you were just like, bye. <laughs> okay, you're like, alright, goodbye. It's like, and then you like literally it's like meeting someone here, maybe at even at a restaurant, you know, cafe, bar job, love yeah, I'm hearing la, la, lawn lawns, yeah, me too, I mow them. All right, I'll catch you later. <laughs> it's like, well, I'll take it as well. <laughs> I'm hearing cart. I'm hearing cart. Somebody was pushing their cart in like a supermarket and like they saw some, someone. Maybe you even felt like, I don't know. I'm hearing, oh, I missed them. Like I didn't say what I really wanted to say to them. Yeah. Just like someone putting makeup on someone even. Take it as well. Maybe they wrote them a letter. They didn't say what they really wanted to say. It's like the last part of the letter they wrote. It's like, I didn't put my name even at the end of it. Like I just wrote it and like, I don't know. You felt, you feel very anonymous is what I'm saying with the three of ones. Like it didn't end on like a good note is what maybe you feel. Wow. Queen of Wands, King of Cups, Page of Wands, the base of the Page of Pentacles. Some of you maybe actually even ran away. Like, you were maybe kind of intimidated. Yeah, like, you even pretended to, like, be asleep? I don't know. You're like, I can't talk. Yeah, I gotta walk the dog. Catch you later. But it's those moments where, like, you're just in the adrenaline mode, you know? Maybe this is even, like, someone you meet and it's like they're your idol or something. Or, like, you're acting without thinking, kind of. It's like, no, I don't have a pen. All right, bye. But like, yeah, can you write your number down for me? It's like, you're not thinking straight, maybe as you feel it. Like, let's clear it. You give them the wrong thing. They ask for a fork, you give them a knife. It's like, all right, bye. They're like, that was the wrong, yeah, no, I was asking. It's like, okay, bye. It's like something like that. Someone's just nervous. The page of wands. 
temperance in reverse, really nervous. That's the second card in the two decks. We got temperance in reverse, literally temperance in reverse. On the page of, it, yeah, let's clear it now. This is the type of thing you look back though, you're like, what am I doing? Okay, someone wants to slap themselves, I feel. <laughs> no, they're like, I can't take this. King of Wands upright. I'm feeling like a flirty baboon who has like no belongings to account for in the relationship. I'm hearing that. It's like, they don't know who they're even like, no, they get frustrated with themselves. They're acting maybe like really, maybe strange around someone. It's like, they're just like, yeah, they go to the bathroom, see someone eating Caesar salad on a date. They go to the restroom. They're like, stop. <laughs> I'm hearing that being like that. I'm hearing that weird. Maybe this is how someone feels. I'm not saying you should do anything or not do anything, but it's like, they feel like they're acting weird. Maybe they got nerves. They're frazzled. I want to get into, I'm hearing fries for some. Um, I'm going to get into the chat real quick. On a scale of 1 to 25, how is this resonating? Yeah, no. It's like, I feel like I just missed her. I'm hearing that dolphin cooperate with others. You're even maybe at a work event, work group. It's like, yeah, I'm all like, you know, talking about like, also maybe some of you feel it's just the impression you gave someone. It's like, I'm just here talking about all of like my mood, 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 mood drums. I don't know. It's like someone's talking about yoga the whole time. It's like, they need to talk to her. I mean, ring her top, her type. Maybe someone feels they're not, they're not turning somebody on, like. New dress, yeah. Alright. Let's get the cards in the round now, huh? Yeah. I feel like this is the type of thing you go home from the date, you're like. What did I feed her? I'm hearing that. Someone of Pentacles of Bright, Harphone Reverse. For some of you, maybe like someone went silent. They might have kind of ghosted a little here. And it could be a work event. Like maybe you had a meeting with someone and like, and then it went kind of quiet. And it's like, I see you're hypersensitive to everything. Oh my God, what did I say? What did they say back? When well, you're trying to play it over in your head, you know? Maybe you're waiting on a response, even maybe you actually like interviewed. Um, really nerve wracking though. Because I'm seeing it with a, with a king of wands. Some of you, yeah, it was a performance. Yeah, king of swords in reverse. Some of you actually were like, you're dating someone and it's that, that, that vibe of like, okay, I just came home, like, now what? Let's clear it. King of swords in reverse. Whoa. <laughs> Death of right, yeah. Someone's gonna like get irritated with themselves here. Like, he's, oh, we have hiccups now? Hmm. Ace of Pentacles of Right, Death of Right. It's like, I wanted to give her my hand. It's like they're getting fucking irritated with them. They go home, no, you guys is a totally different person at home. They're like, okay, bye, sweetie, goodbye. And it's like, they swing around at home and they're like, I can't believe I literally didn't tell her that, like, I loved her. Ace of Pentacles of Right. It's like they're taking the mirror and, like, they're just like, ah. <laughs> yeah, like, again, the question, is there anything you regret not doing due to fear? It's like, yes, it's like, they are not afraid to call themselves out, like, they're like talking to the front of the phone, and they're like, Felicia! They're like holding the phone, like, they got veins bobbing out. <laughs> Why the fuck did I do that? Can you tell me? I'm hearing that Ace of Pentacles, I don't know, maybe you didn't even, it's like that feeling. You could have bought the, the, it's like, this is, this is what you wanted. I'm hearing, para, para, paradise, what's that song? It's like, you go, no, yeah, yeah, you go home and it's like, you didn't buy it, the thing you really wanted, you go home and you're like, what am I doing here? I could have been hanging out with her. This sucks. No, this sucks. This sucks, sucks, yeah. Two pentacles. I mean, you're like, lame, lame. <laughs> Someone's like talking to themselves this way, though. Okay, they're like, yeah, no, no, I'm hearing, yeah, you were moving too slowly. Like, maybe some, this is what someone feels, it's not my personal opinion, but like, for some, with the two of pentacles, I feel like you might have even been bidding on something and you were just lowballing it a little here, yeah. It's like, I wanted to play it all safe. It's like, yeah, is this someone talking to themselves like when they get home? <laughs> I see them throwing like paint at a wall. I don't know, three of pentacles. Someone's getting hostile. It's even like at, if you see somebody here working somewhere, I'm hearing to and fro. It's like, you know, let's clear the energy. This is someone working somewhere and they feel like they missed an opportunity. And now it's like, they're waiting for like their crush to show up and they don't. And it's like, 
now they're being rude <laughs> to like everyone. I'm hearing Massachusetts. I'm hearing, okay, that's that. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm hearing that. I don't know what's going on. Okay. It's someone going to the restroom. They need to like cool down. <laughs> they're like, all right, I'm okay. Like, I'm going to be fine. I'm hearing, listen, listen, I'm he talking to even someone who works there. This per I see two people with like aprons. They're maybe shabs. Let's clear in the heart chakra. Clear all the way up, all the way down. Yeah. King of Wands of Right. I'm hearing, no, I'm, they're getting irritated with themselves. They're going to the bathroom, like, they're not okay, you guys. This is a, the co-workers, like, going to the restroom, like, bro, like, hey, you know what? Yeah, listen, no, no, you really don't need to, like, it's cool. It's like, no, no, she wrote it on Facebook, I saw it, okay? It's over, it's over, it's over, I'm hearing that. Whoa, let's get some advice cards on the judgment and temperance. <laughs> I'm hearing tet, tet? Someone's trying to look like tapping their butt. It's like, I can't wait till work is over. So I can like go home and like start all over again. Maybe have another, another opportunity tomorrow. A ten of wands, a reverse. Whoa, you guys. Someone's getting fixated. I'm seeing like a squirrel. They're like fixated on this like one acorn. It's like they saw it drop. They could have ran for it. Another squirrel went for it and they said, okay, that's it tomorrow. A nine of pentacles in reverse. Let's clear it. You guys, this is getting a little out of control. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. But like ten times, like... They're kind of in like, it's gonna fail mode. Yeah, that's it. Next time it's gonna be the same. Let's clear it. No, no, no. Hey, come on over here now. Come on now. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I'm seeing someone who's very hairy, like furry. They got curly hair, hair on their arms. I'm just seeing it. I see they work. They're, for some of you, they're a barista. They, for some of you, let's clear it. They're a, they're a bartender. I'm seeing for some, for some. I'm seeing like someone kind of pudgy. I see like a Brooklyn pizza, <laughs> pizza parlor, like, you know, kind of, I don't know, take it as you will, like, they're kind of stocky, it's like, it's like, who's that guy, uh, in, in that movie, he's, he's got curly, short hair, he's usually pretty funny in those movies, funny movies, kind of pudgy, um, he's got, like, light brownish hair, it's like mousy brown hair, they're, yeah, I see someone with an apron, they're like, let's clear it, oh my god, you guys, they're just like, no, because they're living for that. I feel a little bit of love and light, but I feel like, but I'm seeing a squirrel here. <laughs> okay, take it as you will. I don't know. I'm seeing, no, you guys, with the Ace of Swords in reverse, I see them with like the, you know when they put the thing in the oven and they're like, yeah, that thing. They're getting annoyed here. Temperance in reverse. It's like, see someone like, they're flush red. It's like, they got really big cheeks. Let's clear it. Yeah, this is someone very Jupiterian, possibly. They're like, I need to calm down. <laughs> okay? It's like, no, but they got the Knight of, oh man, no, man. Knight of Wands and the Two of Pops, yeah. Who am I? Seth? Seth? Is that his name? The actor? The pudgy dude? Kind of? No judgment? Love and light? But like pudgy, yeah? Yeah, you guys. This is someone who really, they're like, this is someone who's like, damn it! No! Like, they, they're they pacing around the pizza shop. <laughs> I could have offered her like a, jum a jumbo. A jumbo size. What am I thinking? Knight of Wands and Two of Cups. They're very like, they're very jovial, but they got a lot of heat going on. I'm hearing in the cheeks, though. I don't know. This could actually be an animal. All right, two of cups is a raccoon or whoever. <laughs> Squirrel themselves. Two of cups. Like, I don't know. They wanted to flirt with someone. But, like, maybe they froze. Like, they they work at a... Yeah, I'm saying they work at a shop. Someone comes in routinely. They have a crush on this person. Um, and, uh, and it's like, when they walk by, it's like, they acted maybe kind of silent. It's like... It's like, yeah, sure, if you want to drink with that. It's like, but they're not like, yeah, then they look back and they just remember, like, I just gave her her, her glass and that was that. That was that. Yeah, it's something like that. Like, but they had a vision of themselves. Like, I could have offered her the pizza like this. Like, I could have, like, been, like, the pizza dude and, like, oh, they had a whole vision. Yeah. I see. It's like this, you guys. Love and light, possibly. Let's clear it. No, I'm hearing no, no grease. No, no class. I'm not sure. Le yeah. I'm not sure. Take it as you will. I'm hearing I'm craving her. Fiona. They go home. They're dreaming of this person. Like, no, she was so beautiful. I'm hearing that. Daughter cups. Ace of cups. Yeah, you guys. They live in a little Brooklyn apartment. I'm seeing that. Yeah, they go, they go home. Like, I see them walking down little stairs. Um, if they go home, they're like, man. I'm hearing that. That could be a metaphor. All right, I'm seeing somebody on a wheel. And this may be all of us at a certain point, right? It's like we all feel like maybe disenchanted at, at times. Like, why did that manifest? Like, why didn't I take the opportunity on it? Oh, I feel like this person's kind of sad. Like, they go home, they're like, oh, I'm a loser. Love and light. Oh, no. 
you guys start reverse. I think we're investing a little bit too much in this opportunity, maybe. You know what I mean? It's like, you really don't, I'm here right now. I don't even, didn't even give her my number. Let's clear it. Is this someone maybe like talking to someone? I'm hearing, no, you don't get it. Like, all right, <laughs> let's get a few more cards. Children, spirit, animals, yeah? Beaver, do your chores up right. All right, raccoon in reverse. You have everything you need in reverse. So it's like, I feel like you don't really know what you need. Maybe, you know, this is not what you need. Sometimes when we feel this is what we need, it's not what we need. You know, Knight, King of Swords, again, in reverse, and the Death the Card upright. It's like, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be the one who offers her the jumbo size next time. Let's clear it. Pizza? Shrimp? They're like, I'm gonna add free toppings for her. I don't know. Look, maybe for some it's a metaphor. Could be something physical. Is this what's going on? You got the Death Card twice in both decks popping out. This could be a Pluto streak. For somebody, this might be financially. Yeah, maybe you feel like you're kind of at sorts and it can be every energy, right? We might find that we resonate with all stacks at a certain point. And so, you know, but let's clear it. Let's, yeah, at, at certain points, there might be... Okay, I'm hearing uh, some of you bored as well. I'm seeing that you're just straight up bored. <laughs> really, really bored here. And it's like, you're trying to, yeah, maybe find pleasure in like these little things like kicking muffins in the air and trying to grab them with like your two feet like <laughs> and then you're getting like yeah so uh all right let's uh let's let's uh let's let's clear it we'll pull one more card here for advice let's see here yeah some of you really got something uh it's just kind of boring i feel you got to maybe change your routine up a little bit let's pull one more card here for advice from the well don't know tennis swords yeah, um, and one more card from the Children's Spirit Animal. Again, the raccoon, you have everything you need in reverse. So I feel like there might be um, and there might be some some advice here when it comes to changing the perspective. Let's pull one more card, Page of Cups. Um, if you do, yeah, let's clear it. Uh, you know, if you want to if you want to pursue something, maybe think, well, what is it that I'm actually going to want to? Um, what is it that I would also want to? I see somebody with the pizza thingy, you guys, a gun, like you know, the stick. What is it called? It's like, no, I'm going to be perfect. This might be a perfectionist streak. Like, you know, try to uh, shift uh, gears with that. Um, when you get too focused in the mind, let's get into the third stack. Describe a piece of art that you really like and why. Let's clear the energy and ground. We'll put these cards back. I'm hearing, I want to be her boyfriend. I'm hearing that with a page of cups upright and the strength card in reverse. This is maybe someone who, like, is eternally in the roundabout you know going in circles in the friend zone with someone and, and it's like yeah but the, let's clear it po possibly and they don't yeah okay let's get into the third stack describe a piece of art that you really like and why <laughs> and what work were you doing the last time you forgot time altogether and the world of right some of you i'm seeing right off the bat uh advice here it comes to your diet but this is a general video of course always you know you got to take it as you will let's clear the energy around uh, some of you are actually possibly actively clearing something out, healing something. It could be a focus on your lifestyle, your habits, your actual sleeping, food, <laughs> exercise. Um, yeah, I'm hearing I'm planning, I'm planning the world and the tower. Some of you have a really big move coming up. You might want to conserve your energy for that. I'm seeing that. Okay, chair in reverse. Yeah, definitely a move for some coming up here in the near future. Empress might be actually pregnant. The higher font in reverse. Yeah, you might, you got something really big coming up, and I feel like you don't want to be, like, focusing too much of your energy in radical ways. I'm hearing that. What is radical? It's taken as you will. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. I see you trying to, yeah, definitely, definitely pregnant. You're trying to keep focus. Like, okay, I need to keep up with my rhythm and my balance here. Contrary to what we were feeling earlier, right? But always take as you will. It could be both. What two people from different parts of your life might you be reluctant to bring together and why? I feel like there's something you want to just clear your mind of. It's like, I don't need to focus on that anymore. I see you wanting to strip it down, get real simple. Something maybe was overwhelming even at a certain point. Which close relative do you like the least? Why? Some of you maybe had a really big event or gathering and it's like, it was too overwhelming. I see you like wanting to take downtime. What kind of character traits are you drawn to in people that although compelling can make for difficulties in relationships? Some of you want to really clear something out and it can be a certain relationship that, you know, dynamic that you had going on and I see you wanting to change the pace with that. But to do that, I see you needing, as you feel it, to step back for a little bit. Elephant, you can overcome any problem. So are you getting ready to really introduce yourself actually even to someone, maybe in a new way. Maybe you want to actually show up 
in a really exciting way here in a certain context, but that's going to require of you, as you might feel it, to do certain things in a very particular manner. It might actually come down to your energy, like, actually. So, elephant, you can overcome any problem. Some of you have to, like, compete or something. I'm hearing predator. I'm hearing that. Okay. Predatory. I'm hearing that. Elephant, you can overcome any problem. Maybe this is an environment that it's, it's very... For some of you, it's actually kind of maybe toxic at times, and it's like, you got to mentally prepare to be involved in that. You can't just randomly show up. Let's clear it. Yeah, so you needing to maybe even do, like, auric work here. Some of you, this is a retreat, even. So maybe you have something really exciting, though. I keep seeing that. With the world in the tower, but... It's like I got to do my homework first, though, you know? <laughs> Can't just jump right into it. Um, all right, so let's, uh, yeah, horse, again, trust your feelings in reverse. Let's get some more cards. I feel like there's a lot of earth energy here going on in this stack. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, I'm hearing as well. I'm hearing, I was born on the 1st. I'm hearing April 1st. Okay. Let's get some more questions. I see someone's moving slowly here as well, like, kind of, you know, like, yeah, towards something. And it could be metaphorically, but if you, but it could also be physically. If you couldn't fail, what would you try to do next? I actually see someone pregnant here. Like, they're walking, like, they want to hold on to stuff. Um, and I actually originally read that as if, if, if you couldn't fall. <laughs> so some of you maybe are, like, actually, I do see Taurus under here, even with the horse, the, the actual horse, Taurus, yeah. Uh, there's something that you're wanting to approach, but it's like you want to get into that space gradually. Like, I see it as a slow maneuver. I'm hearing O'Reilly. What sort of animal do you most identify with and why? This might be an industry that you're interested in even, but I see you wanting to, again, take your time. I'm hearing with Taurus even. Maybe some of you dealing with someone who's taken, taken their time. What do you most, maybe you're trying to keep focus on something. I've seen someone who's actually giving birth. They're like, I have to keep focus, like bullseye. Like, you know how they do that? Yeah, like they hang something on the wall or something, right? What do you most enjoy about being single? What do you most enjoy about being in a couple? Some of you about to introduce yourself to a space, be it however it is for you. And it's like, I, you don't want to be scattered. This might, yeah, it seems like the progression of energy from that first deck, actually, and the second, possibly. Um... In what ways are you difficult to have a relationship with? Let's clear it down the back. Some of you definitely healing something here. Or you got a lot on your back, maybe metaphorically yet again, but I feel pressure on the back, uh, actually. What parts of your early, yeah, like lower back specifically? On the bottom right, like not quite the kidney, a little above and to the center of the spine. What parts of your early life are you now, are you compensating for now? What do you most enjoy about being single? What do you most enjoy about being in a couple? Some of you maybe want to focus on your diet and your health. Hydration, definitely. Maybe you want to be drinking water here. I'm hearing that as well. I see like someone, their bones are getting kind of, they're maybe feeling dehydrated. Is there anyone you regret losing touch with? Take it as you well. Let's clear the energy and ground. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get um, a few more cards here. Let's pull a Celtic Cross actually for this particular stack with the Gummy Bear Tarot. And uh, yeah, I feel like maybe you know that something is going to come up where you're going to have to move quickly. So it's like, I need to slow down now. Like, conserve, you know, I need to slow down now. I'm hearing that. Let's clear it. Deep past. Okay, so there is definitely something coming here. Some of you, this is definitely a pregnancy. But there could be something here that you're wanting to create, but you're wanting to be in the right place headspace you don't want to run frantically into the room to manifest whatever this is five of cups up right maybe you're a little nervous about something even some of you gonna introduce yourself to someone eight of cups in reverse five of cups up right temperance in reverse for some of you i feel that you want to return to someone maybe even but you're like really slow moving with that like you're moving slowly into that like you, you're it's like i don't want to awaken the spider out of his web like gucci gucci you know, you don't want to like, well, maybe you don't know how they're going to react kind of vibe, but some of you definitely is pregnancy. How many of you are pregnant? Chariot in reverse in the environment. <laughs> second time in the second deck. We've got the chariot in reverse. Wow. Temperance in reverse. Yeah, I see someone's like belly like 
whoa, it's like, so you, again, like, holding on to stuff? Yeah, um, your future lovers in reverse, ah, wow, two of pentacles, ooh, twins energy, two of pentacles, lovers, hopes interferes, four, four cups in reverse, wow, yeah, you're gonna be, like, really releasing something here, you lay with the high priestess, upright, ooh, so there's something that, some of you may be meeting someone here, you got the star, the moon, yeah, there's something, let's clear it, I see you creating something really exciting, so maybe you're just in a space where you say, I want to conserve my energy, let's pull um, on that wild unknown, two of pentacles, four of wands of bright, you got two fours, four of cups, let's pull on the temperance, five of pentacles, yeah, there's something that is like feeling overwhelming a little bit, like I see you kind of feeling maybe even that something has gotten a little like stretched out even, um, I'm hearing this, like, actually, the Two of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, actually, the Two of Pentacles. Like, something has really gotten to a point. And I see you've been very patient. I see a lot of patient energy um, here with the Chariot in reverse and the Two of Pentacles of Bright. So, thank you for tuning in. Stock three, let's jump into stock four. Thank you guys for tuning in your likes as well. If this is resonating, feel free to hit the like button. I am looking at those likes, and it's always interesting to see how you guys do connect with the series. Um, and, uh, yeah. Frequently look back. It's, it's been always interesting, like, to see which, which videos do particularly well in terms of uh, likes, like feedback there. All right. Let's get into this. Da, 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 da. Stop four. We stopped taking timestamps, shoot. <laughs> 6106. Let's clear it. Alright, so some of you right off the bat, I'm feeling it that you are dealing with something in the environment. I'm hearing stingy. He's stingy. I'm hearing that. <laughs> he won't even stay for like a minute. I'm hearing that. Oh my god, someone's complaining to somebody on the phone about something. <laughs> something is just like, it's really, I'm hearing, it's really irritating. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing helicopter. I mean, I can't hear you. Someone's getting frustrated with everything in the environment, maybe. When was the last time you experienced sh Freud? What is that, you guys? Freud? Do you dare to admit what triggered it? I'm too far from the keyboard, and I'd have to, yeah. So, when was the last time you experienced Freud? Do you dare to admit what triggered it? Describe an early sexual experience. There's something frustrating here for someone. I see them, like... It's frustrating. They, they're, maybe they actually have sexual tension here. Maybe it's like a sexual frustration. It's like, I see someone not getting what they feel like they want. <laughs> it's like, he's just like not hitting it, you know? I'm hearing that. <laughs> All right, bear, stand up for yourself. It's like, I see, yeah, I see the sideways. It's like, I feel like I'm on the date the whole time like this. Like, we're not making like eye contact. It's irritating me. Let's clear it. Would you be happy? Some of you maybe are in a situation where you're just very different from someone. I'm getting this vibe here coming through. And I recommend to watch that video. Uh, it's a pick a card stack reading actually as well. And it is, um, are we actually even compatible? And so you can find that on the channel playlist, pick a card stacks. But would you be happy to tell your friends how much you earned? Would they tell you? Try it now. Some of you want, I see craving excitement. It's like, He's just, yeah, five, four of wands. He's not showing up. I'm hearing May, May, the letter M here. I'm hearing the letter M. Son of swords. Let's go. Yeah, May. I'm hearing, well, maybe, but maybe not. I'm seeing someone talking to the front of the phone. They're a really fast talker. They're like, no, I hate it when he does this. I'm hearing that. Son of swords and the four of cups, four of wands. Some of you are at a standstill. I see someone standing on the corner of a street. They're like, no, they're irritated, you guys. I'm seeing, I just, sometimes I feel like I need to show you the energy. No, they're standing on a corner. They're like, they're, they're, yeah, they, let, they've got their hand on their hip, they've got their phone to their ear, let's clear it. It's like, I'm really, like, getting irritated. It can be someone's annoyed with their phone, like, an app is not, I'm hearing Spring Street, that's in New York. Okay, let's clear it. It's like, no, you don't get it. Like, you need to, you need to tell me now. It's gonna be someone with their child or something. Someone's, like, not taking shit seriously, they're not maybe responding to texts. Like, this is getting annoying. For some with the Four of Wands, I actually see this as potential. It's that moment when you're like, but like, I'm seeing the potential. I see what we got to do. Like, I'm looking at the players on the field from the screen, like TV in my living room. And it's like, I see where they need to run to, but they're not just, they're just not doing it. <laughs> you know, Four of Wands. Nah, someone's getting irritated. This could even be uh, with coworkers. Let's clear it. Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups. Some of you, this is something even with yourself, like magician. Nah, some of you craving something here and you feel like you're not getting it. 
you feel like you're not getting it. <laughs> the Emperor Bright, Page of Wands in reverse. You know, he's definitely not hitting the spot. I'm hearing that. Like, you have to, like, take someone's hand and be, like, right there, bro. <laughs> I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that love and light. It's like, yeah, no, that's, that's my bone. <laughs> that No, that hurts. That feels good. I'm hearing that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> King of Cups. And I was almost like, hey. <laughs> no, like, it maybe even hurts her feelings. Like, they feel like, listen, I've seen someone who feels like they got the, like, perfect stick to, like, make the whole, uh, the nest with, it's like, no, 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 I'm hearing that hurts, <laughs> again, let's clear it, it's just something's not working here, not working, queen of swords, king of cups, someone has to get mean to someone as they feel it, it's like, then I have to, like, be mean, and then he thinks I'm flirting, and I'm not flirting, knight of cups in reverse, and then it's like, I have to put his finger there, I don't know, love and light, whoa, hangman in reverse, no, someone's like, I'm out, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm hearing out like a light. <laughs> out like a light. The six of cups in reverse. I'm not turned on by this. Ten of swords. Someone's going to walk right out of the situation, like, in their mind. I feel they're like, okay, someone just gets off the phone right there. How many of you are resonating with this message? Let's clear the energy and ground on a scale of 1 to 72. 72 being like, I'm going to be really, you know, passing by any minute now. And it's either you get in the car or I'm going to be like... Santa Claus with no gifts next summer. I'm hearing that for you. Let's clear a strength. Ah, mm, that's good. <laughs> that's good to get. I'm doing popcorn here. So maybe this is something you want to invest in. A uh, little bit of that roundabout energy from the second stack. What was it the second stack? Let's clear the energy around. Third stack is like, darn it. Like, yeah, two of cups in reverse. Like, maybe you're getting frustrated with, like, a, like somebody you need to present with. You need to co-present present with. It's like they don't have the presentation ready, and it's getting to the point. It's like, well, we're going to lose time. So if you're dating someone, they won't commit. And it's like, that could be in a macro in a macro sense, right? It's like, it's just not happening. So, um, yeah, I see someone's bored. Strength in reverse. I'm bored. No, I'm bored. I'm hearing that zero cups in reverse. I'm going to, yeah, I see, like, a frustrated squirrel is going to, like, break the acorn, like, with his feet. It's like... He already ate 10 acorns. He doesn't want acorns anymore. He's bored. I'm hearing that. He's going to start making, you know, yeah, issues. I'm hearing that with, like, what, 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 what say, what say, what say has to do with do. Let's clear it. No. Someone is also maybe, they're, they're too much in the debate mode. It's like they want to talk. They want to talk. But they want to do. Somebody here has got, you just have a different maybe composition from someone, you know? And it's just, like, you're getting, like, it's the balance of the lifestyle. It's getting irritating, maybe. It's even what, like music taste, like musical taste. Like we're listening to like, you know, I'm hearing, say it ain't so, your love is a heartbreaker. And someone loves that. Someone else is feeling like, I don't want to have to wait in line to like play my music. Like, let's clear it. For some, maybe this is like even at yours with your roommate or something, or there's noise coming from the hall with your neighbors. Let's clear it. Something's just not working. It's just someone getting frustrated in their environment. It's like, I gotta let loose. That's it. Someone's gonna go wild. Rambo. I'm seeing like a dog even. They're like, they need to get out of the house. Like, I need more like, yeah. <laughs> Stimulation. Six of swords. <laughs> All right. So what else here? Yeah. Someone's like, that's it. I'm, they want to just go drive around even. They need to get out. Some of you massively, massively, um, underproved i'm hearing that okay that's a baking term yeah it's like yeah i feel like i'm not cooked i'm raw this is irritating i just keep hearing that some of you got unhinged let's backtrack clearing around love and light everyone here you got some kind of fire energy you gotta ground it maybe you gotta find something where you can really get your fire out because this is not gonna be i see you waiting over you want to swim in the ocean you're like you're paddling in the pond it's like that's getting irritating let's clear it how many of you resonate with this type uh talkative <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you're really really resonating can you type talkative i'm hearing the mice don't know where the cheese is at i'm tired of explaining that <laughs> it's like this could be with your career yeah devil oh my god you guys someone's getting like <laughs> they want to like <laughs> they're getting really oh my god let's just like whoa <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing that. Tired of telling him where to put the little taquitos in the pantry. I'm like, oh, I'm hearing that. No, this is repetitive even. No, you guys just like, see like someone needs to like, you gotta get out of the house maybe. They gotta go maybe for a run. Like, it's like, 
There, it's even like a coach. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a metaphorical thing. They're listening to someone sing, and they're tired of being a coach. Like, okay, do it, Sheila. Go for it, yeah. They're not really into it anymore, you guys. I don't know. The Fool. Someone's going to cry. They're so irritated. They're so bored. The Star in Reverse. This is something blatant kind of it's getting bland even like maybe it's actually what you're doing what you're eating it's like everything is predictable kind of i mean like start finish start finish it's like you start miming even it's like when you're getting irritated at your boss or something it's like <laughs> oh boy someone's definitely got a trigger here though the tower in reverse let's clear it back let's clear it back there could be something getting heated even and you don't want to, like, bust a cap. <laughs> it's like, you don't want to be that person. Like, I don't know. You don't want to go off on your on your coach. I'm hearing that as well. Let's clear it. You got something you got to express here. Otherwise, this is going to build up, I feel. <laughs> With the Magician the Empress. Yeah, because there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of potential. But, like, it, it, without a course for the horse to run on, it's like, where's the race at, you know? They're, you're feeling like you're withering away even with the Magician and the Empress. Some of you may be sitting too long. Yeah, five. This is someone like, that's it. No, I can't watch a game anymore. The way they're playing it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I can't. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm here. You're pissing me off, Gary. All right. All right. Yeah, let's clear it. Some of you just not stimulated. The people you're working with, maybe. You're having, I mean, yeah, you're having combos that are just getting real old on you and uh let's clear it you gotta have something changing here definitely for your for your archetype as i feel it you're at this time you got a lot of fire and maybe some of you realize you're about to hit a peak in in in, in some area of your life and it's like you need to start getting into that space so maybe you know there's something that you're releasing so thank you for tuning in let's jump into the last stack i'm here i gave her i gave oh my god clear it oh my god no someone's got yeah let's clear it let's go someone's got um frustration here they gotta just kind of i'm hearing goodbye they like slammed the phone down oh my god it's like fighting in the airport style like you know the couple <laughs> couple in the airport fighting you have the passport no you have the passport it's like they're tired they're overtired all right let's get it Let's clear it and cry. La, 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 la. Uh, right off the bat, fifth stack, I feel like you are triggering someone here and you may not even know it. What's that about? Some of you are also really creative. I see some of you are very, very, very attractive. I see that, as some people may see it. <laughs> Maybe you feel you got something going on here even. It's like... Uh, for some of you, there you're in a really exciting peak in maybe a certain area of life. Yeah, you're in you're in some kind of peak here of, of your life. Let's clear it. What you what kinds of things do you consider bad taste and why? Like some of you may be getting famous here. Maybe you got content here that's going viral for some of you. For some of you, uh, you got like a lot of suitors here. It's making you feel kind of like really, really, really in a good place. Maybe you're feeling like you're you're. You're in a really exciting place, okay, in your life right now. How, in some way, how are your political opinions changing? I feel like someone feels like they've changed a lot. You know when people go off to college or there's a period of time where they haven't met up with, you know, people that they've known for quite some time and they come back and it's like they're all kind of like, they might say, oh, you're different now, you know? It's something like that. Um, this reminds me of a reading. It was in a Taurus reading like two years ago, I think. Someone was going to go on vacation and they have this like new job in the city and they go home to visit their family and like, they couldn't wait to get out after a certain while because it was just kind of like, you know, their life has changed so much. So it's their habits, their routines, always take it as you well. Now, the mother of swords in reverse, um, you possibly, for some of you got a big conversation coming. It could be something reoccurring, reappearing from the past. Page of swords in reverse, mother of swords in reverse. Some of you are getting a very, oh, you have a possibly even an interview coming up. It's a big deal. Father of pentacles of right. Three of swords in reverse. 
What items of clo- I'm hearing black magic. Let's clear that. What items of clothing excite you the most? That's not cool. Yeah, we don't do that here. That's not cool. <laughs> some of you maybe have to even fire someone. I'm not sure. Love and light. You're thinking, I know this is- Maybe you know something's going on. It's not cool. You gotta, like, come out with that. Let's clear it down the left side of the body entirely. And the right side of the body. The entire body. The whole chakra system. Let's clear the whole chakra system up and down. For a number of you, you have something here. Now, something here is going on you have to address- some of you feel that you're in an empowered position to do so, though. Maybe you feel like, I'm ready to do this. It's time to do this. Would you prefer a view of a desert or of the sea and why? I feel like you're checking into a hotel kind of vibe. It's like, okay, I'll stay here. Yeah, sure. It's like, there's something here going on. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like you're at a height here with something. But maybe with that, it's like, you know, with, what did they say? With great power comes great responsibility sort of vibe. Uh, some of you, uh, yeah, you got someone here maybe that is kind of like, maybe you know this, they're causing some issues and you got to confront them with that. Your swords in reverse. Coming bird upright, cheer up upright. Queen, maybe some of you are, yeah, you've moved out of a space, but then you have to like, well, let's clear it. You cleared a chord even, but you have to interact with that space again, like, in some way but you know it's like man here come the older energies you know maybe this is you having ascended from a certain experience and now you have to kind of reconnect on certain concepts butterfly in reverse get ready for big changes in reverse ladybug notice little the little things swan you're beautiful just as you are this could be also um some sort of uh you know suggestion to for protection you might want to protect your aura eagle do the right thing upright and we talked about this you know the transits that are coming up uh, around this time, there are a lot of retrogrades here. So there might be things that, you know, you felt, why well, I got over this. I'm hearing Veronica. I'm not sure. Take it as you will. Turtle, take your time. Buffalo, be thankful all you have. This can be with you as well. It's like, thought I was over that, you know, that little, uh, that little picket fence issue we had back there. I'm not sure. Love and lie, but <laughs> the, 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 I'm hearing the pick, the pick me up, pick, yeah, pick me up lines. I'm not sure. There's something really triggering here. It's like, uh, but okay, I guess we still have to talk about that. I'm hearing that as well. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. Love and light to you. Let me know if this was helpful. I hope you guys have a beautiful full moon. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in another video. Bye, guys. Ciao.